So about everything that could go wrong on this trip has gone wrong. busy out there and uh, the weather's not great but uh, we are going to trade trailers with one of the other drivers of the company who's delivering in New Jersey tomorrow uh, so he'll be able to come over here and we'll do a trailer swap and I will get BMP and then we were going we are going to creep home. <laughs> Alright, so I am still parked here at the service plaza. I don't know where we're at. Uh, just a little bit north of Mala, New Jersey. On the north I, I think we're in New York though. But uh, it's closed for renovations for, for the most part. There's you know, a few handful of supplies. There's our truck over there. Um, I'm gonna go get some supplies. I got. I finally heard from the company. Um, I'm gonna be going back to the pilot in Mawa to uh, swap off trailers, and uh, then I'll be heading home. So, see you soon. Broken axle, or not an axle? Broken drive shaft, which is still sitting on my floor because the company can't afford to put the truck in a shop. Well, I mean, I, I, I guess they can afford to put the company in a shop, but he won't do it in a shop that he can't control. You know, it's out of his control. Uh, he's got a guy that he works with in Georgia, and that's the only guy he's willing to work with right now. And I, that's probably a money thing. The airbag is still leaking air. The suspension on the truck is still leaking air. I'm about to pick up an empty trailer, swap off trailers with a guy that's got an empty. And then I'm gonna be driving nearly a thousand miles home. Um, I haven't even looked at the GPS. I don't even know how far it is, but it's a long damn way. It's at least two days of driving. Now, I better get paid for that. I'll be pissed if I don't get paid for that, but I'm probably, I'm, I'm already pissed because I shouldn't have to take that risk. Um, I'm driving with a truck that's clearly crippled, should be out of service, should be in a shop around here somewhere, even though yeah, I mean, we're in the Northeast, and the Northeast absolutely sucks for trucks, so I get that. But... Hey, wanted to give you all a quick status update. We've made it so far to uh, Northern Virginia. We're still north of Richmond. We're at the rest area on I-95. Um, we had to go across the, the scales. <laughs> it made me a bit nervous. Um, we got weighed. And uh, I guess probably because we're empty, they couldn't uh, couldn't tell that we have a uh, problem with the sus with the suspension system. So we skated through on that one. Um, I'm taking my 30 minutes. Uh, we're just south of DC. Traffic is pretty bad, uh, so it's a good time to to take a break rest let the truck rest a little bit and uh use the facilities see y'all soon um so we are at our stop for the night um i don't remember the name of this place it's a it's a mom and pop 
um, just north of the Virginia, North Carolina state line, uh, about maybe about 30 miles north of the line. Um, so far, so far, so good. I haven't had any real issues uh, with the truck. It's been running fine. Obviously, I've got a new check light, a uh, new check engine light uh, that wasn't there before. But uh, you know, we, we're down the an interaxle drive shaft. I think that's what they call it. Um, it's it's not there. We're driving without it. We have been all day. Uh, we have been since yesterday. Uh, we have a ruptured passenger side airbag um, that causes us to lose pretty much all the air um, within minutes of shutting the engine off. But the air pump is doing its job and keeping us inflated even once we get once we get moving and keep the engine up uh it gets up to 120 and stays there um so it, it's holding in place um but obviously as soon as we stop it just, it's all gone um so i i i know that the uh air pump is really working hard <laughs> um to the extent that I'm giving it a rest tonight, I'm not going to sleep with it. I'm going to I'm going to sleep with the engine off and just let everything rest through the night. We're about 400 and change miles from home. Um, I I wanted to get as far as possible today. We've still got an hour left on our clock, but you know it's I don't even know it's it's 9:45. It's almost 10 o'clock. Um, parking would have been increasingly difficult, but this place actually has tons and tons of space. I'll uh, I'll look up the name of the place and I'll put it right here uh, when I edit this video, so uh, I'll be able to find it. Um, but uh, so yeah, this this place is a good good place to come if you're uh, out of hours and need some place to park, and it's late at night because there's still tons of spots tons of space here um, I am on the fence as to what I want to do next I told myself that I would work for this company until June um, and that was my plan as I was gonna work till June I was gonna take three months off go down to Panama then come back and figure out what to do next. I still want to do that. And part of me is leaning towards just toughing it out with this company. Um, they'll get the truck re repaired. Uh, my cost of living is near zero when I'm at home. Um, so I don't have to work if I don't, if the truck is not repaired um, but obviously if it's going to take a while uh, to fix it then I may and they don't have another truck available to me then I may do something else the other possibility of course is that I jump ship and say hey you know uh, and, and maybe I can just say hey look I am not cool with running 800 miles with a truck that should be out of service and should be in a shop. Um, that's it ain't it ain't right what you're asked what you asked me to do. Um, I said yes because I'm a team player and I have a hard time telling people no. <clears throat> but I'm not going to do it again. Get the truck fixed. Get it fixed right. I'll keep going. But don't ask me to do this a second time. I won't. Um, that's kind of where I'm, I'm leaning. Obviously, if I, if I stay here, that's going to be my 
my condition is, is that they're aware that I'm not happy with the situation that they put me in. Um, and if it happens again, I'm gone. Of course, my other option is to jump ship and find something else to do immediately. Um, I could potentially lease a truck uh, straight from like MHC um, and, and get under that and then lease on to a, a, a company or even get my own authority. I don't really think I'm ready for my own authority yet, um, but it's a, it's a possibility. Uh, as far as money goes, I don't have enough saved up, but uh, my daughter is uh, doing quite well financially, and she said she can give me the, the money for a, a down payment on a truck if, she, if I need it. Uh, I don't want to have to need it. I've never asked for money from her before, and I don't really want to start now. Her mother asks for money all the time, and I don't want to get into that. I don't want to be like her mother. Um, her mother is my ex. <laughs> it's, we're not together anymore, so it, it, not for a long time. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't really want to take money from her. It's hers. Um, obviously, I can just give her... I mean, she's going to get her half of the... She's going to get half the company. If it, if I make the company into something that's worth worth something, she'll get half of it when I'm gone because, you know, I won't, I've got two kids. Uh, but... Uh, Optional other option is to go someplace that doesn't require a down payment and I can get a maybe a, a used truck or maybe I put down a small down payment um, at some place that doesn't require more than like five thousand or something like that. But my criteria has to be this time around that I can work for any company with the truck that I lease and or even start my own authority with the truck that I lease and that I can put a driver in it when I want to go on vacation. I can put somebody else in it and I can hire a driver and go on vacation. Those are my criteria. Is that I, I, It has to be port, uh, a lease that I can take with me um, wherever I want to go and it has to be a lease that I can put a second driver or I can put another driver in it. Um, Obviously, the, the, the obvious choice for that is to go with um, an MHC-style lease and get my own authority. But uh, I'm not quite sure I'm ready there yet. Um, but if I have an, M an MHC-style lease, a, a traditional lease, um, an independent lease, I, I, I kind of call them independent leases because they're independent of any carriers. Um, so if I can get into an independent lease and then lease onto a company that will allow me to put another driver, a different driver, into my truck, then that would be the probably the ideal path forward. Um, so I'm doing research. I'm, I'm looking into different possibilities. And, uh, of course, more than likely by the time you guys are seeing this video, I'll have already made up my mind what I'm going to do. So... <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be asking what your opinions are. I mean, I'm sure open. I'm, I'm open to everybody's opinion. Uh, it's a possibility that I will not have made the decision yet by the time this video comes out. So, yeah, I'm I'm open to to to, to input input from y'all. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to hit the sack. Uh, like I said, it's ten o'clock. I'm not excessively tired because we got off to a late start this morning but I'm tired enough I want to go to bed uh, so I'll see y'all tomorrow good morning folks so we're up I'm headed in to get some breakfast um, we're about 400 and change miles from home um, it's really kind of hard to feel optimistic about this trip home because I don't know how long I'm going to be there. I don't know how long it's going to take them to fix the truck. I don't know how 
I don't I don't know how I'm gonna deal with all the stuff that's going on whether or not I'm gonna change companies so I'm really kind of not feeling the, the best right now um, but I am going home I am gonna get some rest I am finally gonna get to edit these videos <laughs> um, I've got a computer at home that's powerful enough to do it it's just a PC I can't take it out on the road with me uh, but I'll also be able to get my laptop over to Apple and probably to get a new one or get it repaired um, so we're in southern Virginia just north of the North Carolina state line um, I'm not a hundred percent sure I think the name of this truck stop is maybe Davis um, I still haven't seen a name for it there's no names on it here at the back of it so I'm about to go inside check it out get some breakfast hopefully they have a diner maybe I'll sit in and have have a meal I'm in no rush um, I'm not gonna get home in a particularly timely fashion so it's probably gonna be fairly late tonight when I get when I finally get home so I'm gonna have a meal and uh, see what we do next alrighty folks well we are leaving out of here it was called the Davis Travel Center. Um, nice place. Really nice store on the inside. Not much in the way of food. I mean, let me rephrase that. There's no cooked food. They've got a Subway. They've got a Little Caesars Express. They've got a little Dunkin' Donuts corner. Um... But no diner, no 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 restaurant. Um, I don't count Subway as a restaurant, or even food really. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, nice little place, clean, very clean. Um, and like I said, tons of parking even late at night. So this will be on my list. about to hit the road I'm going to find a loves or a pilot flying J somewhere along the route kind of the first one I see I'm gonna go inside and get a shower I'm not sure that I've had a shower since Monday and it's Friday now I think it's Friday and I'm not feeling human and I think that's probably part of why yeah, I've just been in such a terrible mood the last couple of days is I just don't feel I feel like emotionally I feel like crap physically I feel fine but emotionally I feel like crap and I think part of that is maybe because I'm just not feeling all that human um, so I'm going to find a place, even though we're going to be home tonight, I don't want to drive the rest of the day feeling like I feel. Looks like there's a pilot in about 30 miles, so I'll stop there, go inside, get a shower. We're not in any rush. Follow the highway. It's just going to be another day of driving and driving slow because we can't go faster than 55 miles an hour. Um, And it's going to be a long day, 450 miles at 50 would be nine hours. So not terribly long, but at the same time, not a short day. I'll see y'all soon. Well, I feel better. <laughs> not 100%. Still not uh, particularly enthused by this load, but at least I feel like a human. <laughs> uh, so let's see where's my key we stopped at the loves instead of the pilot it's just a couple miles difference 
and from what I could tell, this place was nicer than the pilot was supposed to supposedly. So uh, let's get back on the road. We're still in Virginia, but uh, we're real close to the border now. I think mile marker 15. And uh, I'm gonna call it not far to go. <laughs> It is far to go at 55 miles an hour, but it's not far to go in the grand scheme of things. Um, let's let the air build back up. It dumps out real fast. Yeah. Shocker. We have a low air supply pressure alarm. Now that's a real surprise. <laughs> okay, let's get home, shall we? I don't think I've got any reason more to stop. I'll probably have to take a 30 at some point. Uh, but beyond that, we have no reason to stop until we're at home. Uh, oh, well, maybe lunch. <laughs> we'll take a 30 someplace where we can get lunch and then we'll be home. I just stopped in here real quickly, uh, rest area in North Carolina. I think we're a little bit west of Greensboro. Um, I'm not even using the GPS, so I don't really know where we're at exactly, but uh, I am planning on taking 40 west over to US 321, taking that down from Hickory to Gastonia. Oop, didn't realize I had the music on. Um, take that down from Gastonia to pick 85 up again, just kind of to bypass um, Charlotte. There's no reason to go straight through Charlotte this time of the day. It's a, it's still a weekday, so uh, yep, that's what we're doing. We're making some time I guess considering we're going 55 uh, haven't really hit any road any, any snags went across that way station back there it made me a little nervous but it is what it is let's keep rolling Hey folks, so I did make it home, although I forgot to record my arrival. Uh, so that's why the, the, uh, the driving footage just kind of dropped out. Um, I am feeling a lot better now. 
uh, of course, a couple days off. It's it's Monday now, and I've had Saturday and Sunday to relax and think about things. Uh, I'm still not 100% certain what I want to do next, but I think I'm just going to stick, stick with this company and tough it out. Um, they did put the truck into the dealership, so their shop should be able to fix things up and get it back running pretty well. I just don't know how long it's going to be. I haven't heard yet from the company what the timeline is or anything like that, but uh, I'm good. I'm here at home. Um, I don't really have anything urgent that needs, uh, needs being paid for. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to take this time and, and relax and rest and we'll be out on the road again soon. I'll keep you posted. Thanks.